We're back. <clears throat> We're going to proceed now with form number two, which is what we call to the center line reduction of the for second form. We're cutting to the center. And to do that, we've had our cloth sitting on the side of our sink, holding our mix, our basic mix here. It's cooking it off. It's peaking it nicely as it's slightly evaporating. It's getting a little thicker. We're going to go ahead and open it up full length. Close it, close it by half, just kind of fold it over, grab it at the end, and go on ahead and extract the mix that's left. Now, if you look at this, there's not a lot of mix here, or so it seems, but this is absolutely perfect. Now, we're going to use this, we're going to move this over our face, and we're going to cut this. There's a lot we can do with it, though. And what I want to show you right now is we can take activator, and we can add a little activator to it. And we can take a little cutting ball, pull and mix the two together for some additional buffering protections a little to, to carry the blade more effectively. And we're going to take this very, very fine, excellent, very wet mix, and we're going to put it up. And it's, you'll notice it's much thinner, much thinner, but incredibly wet and stable. It'll take any kind of blade you want to put on it. I always recommend that you use Feather Platinums when you cut my, my mixes but you can certainly use any blade you want. Any blade you use will perform at its peak level of cutting frequency if you use these products the way I'm showing you now. Rinse your hands. As you get to be a better shaver, you don't need to do this. Again, we're going to pick up our razor, holding it at the grip end at the very base. We're going to cut the second form. The second form line starts at the, again, just below the sideburn, you're pointing the grip toward the chin. This is called the ear to chin line. We start just like this. Ear to chin, ear to chin, ear to chin. Remember to pitch your razor back. Hold it like you're throwing a dart. Ear to chin, ear to chin. Now, this is a beautiful form. It, it's a nice, long, like you're almost like you're, like you're stroking a cello or a violin. You're just in nice, long strokes, all right? Then we come back, we're going to cut the third quadrant. We're going to start back below the ear, drop just below the jawline, just below this bone right here, and you're going to cut on a sloping angle toward, pointing the grip toward your Adam's apple. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rinse. Rotate your razor. Come back. One, two, three, four. The grip intersects. The Adam's apple, it's a straight line, geometric line, right to the Adam's apple. Cut the third quadrant only, please. One, two, three, four. Fourth quadrant, straight down again. All right? Now, once we've done that, we're going to need to do it twice. What you can do at this point, in order, we're going to do it twice to get full, full reduction. You can quickly take your primer, your hard soap primer. This is called manually pulling the slag. It's wonderful. Just take it. You might want to add a little bit of cutting balm to it to thicken it up slightly. Pull and mix the two. Stretch. This is called stretching the mix right here. Stretch it up real nicely. Move it around. Now, we're going to come back again. Now I'm going to show you how to cut and stretch properly. Full line. Cut. Stretch. Cut. See? I've got mix on my hand. I'm resetting it. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, cut. Reset it. Come down, come down, come down. Now notice this little turn right. This is, this is Mar my friend Mark Harrow made this very famous. This is the J curve, uh, J cut. I call it a hook. Uh, this is, I developed this years ago. Mark Harrow made it famous on his, uh, with his Mantic 59 videos. You're coming down and you're turning, you're turning on the third quadrant. It's a beautiful cut. Watch this. See this? We just rotate, rotate, get real nice and close. Stretch, come back, come back, come back. And please be careful when you're doing this to get the hang of it. But once you get it, you're in business. Come back the other side. First quadrant, lower first, come straight down. If you want, you can also come across like this. Hold your razor toward the bottom. Don't get it up here at the top. Toward the bottom, float it, float it. On the top, we come down. We're coming back through here on the third quadrant, and then straight down on the fourth. All right, now those of you who want to clear the fourth more aggressively, 
can do also a third, I mean a second form reduction on the third quadrant, I mean a fourth quadrant, excuse me, by cutting to the center again. You can also, if you want to hit it one more time, just throw up some water, re-stretch your mix. Remember stretching is this process, right? you might want to call it spreading. I prefer stretching because you actually are stretching it. You're not really spreading anything. You're resetting it. And let's do it one more time. Pitch the blade. Pitch, 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 pitch. Third quadrant. Watch this. Right here. Boom, boom. Get that little hook, that little button hook pattern in there. Straight down on the fourth. Same thing. Come up, come up. Straight down on top. You can also do this effect right here. Come into the center. The center. And then we come down on the fourth, and we can also come, we can do what is called a crossover cut, straight down and crossover, straight down and crossover.